Now on the lift, on the back, the butcher boss is played. He kept a shop on Main Street selling sausages he made. But people rarely bought his meat. His business was a joke. Thunderbeck was desperate. He was seriously broke. <laughs> now, that butcher's wife was twice his size, but only half his age. <laughs> when Thunderbeck stopped earning cash, she flew into a rage. Bring me money, Thunderbeck. Make me want to stay, or else I'm leaving you on Monday night with all these debts to pay. <laughs> to clear his head, old Dunderbeck went walking in the park. He hated life, the sky, the trees, and the way that the dogs barked. So he threw rocks at a dachshund. <laughs> pug that passed. <laughs> that pug, it turned on Dunderbeck. Could <laughs> it beat him on the ass? <laughs> That's when an idea came to Thunderbeck to build a huge machine for grinding things down to sausage meat. Efficient, cheap, and clean. <laughs> then all those yapping mangy curs would never more be seen, for they'd all be ground to sausage meat. In Dunderbeck's machine. <laughs> oh, Dunderbeck. Oh, Dunderbeck. How could you be so mean <laughs> to ever have invented the sausage meat machine? <laughs> now, dogs and cats and long tail rats will never all be seen. They've all been ground to sausage meat in Dunderbeck's machine. He tempt an alley cat, a dog, a rat, with a tasty looking treat. Then he throw it into his machine and grind it up for meat. <laughs> <laughs> These sausages were tasty. Folk flocked from far and wide. And on the back, he sold his ground chihuahua meat with pride. <laughs> As people slurped and crunched on gristle and gnawed the juicy meats, they hadn't guessed it was their ex pets they were sitting on. <laughs> Old Dunderbeck's ground flesh for 18 hours a day. Old Dunderbeck made grisly cash for the debts he had to pay. <laughs> One day, this little fat kid came walking in the store. And he saw the paw of his Labrador discarded on the floor. <laughs> Dunderbeck, he panicked as he knew the boy would tell. So, 
<laughs> he threw him in his meat machine, and he ground him up as well. <laughs> <laughs> hesitant at first to sell the town the flesh of child, but whatever case of conscience vexed him, uh, it certainly was mild. <laughs> he wrapped the seasoned human guts in an affin pincer casing. The townsfolk, they all snuffed it down. And then they cried. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this brand new blend of sausage meat was a flavorful sensation. <laughs> so Dunderbeck made plans to grind a human population. <laughs> He'd buy a gun, he'd have some fun on an evil killing spree, and then he'd have the meat he'd need to feed his marvelous machine. But that night, the damned thing busted the machine. It would not go. So Dunderbeck, he climbed inside to see what made it so. <laughs> but his wife, she had a nightmare. It made her walk right in her sleep. She spazzed. She twitched. She bumped the switch. Judge ah! back was me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dunderback. Oh, Dunderback. How could you be so mean to ever have invented the sausage meat machine? Now dogs and cats and long-tailed rats will never more be seen. They've all been ground to sausage meat in Dunderbeck's machine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>